Welcome back. We are answering your coronavirus vaccine questions with the help of Dr. Steve Fagans with Mercy Health. He's also the medical director of Hamilton County Public Health. Our question this evening comes from Charles Wetzel, who hit us up on Facebook. And here is what Charles asked. I had heard that the one shot Johnson and Johnson vaccine contains a live virus. Is that true? So the J&J &J vaccine, which has now um, been submitted for emergency use authorization, and so we will get a lot more information about that data. Um, it's based on an adenovirus. It's the same vaccine. It's almost the exact same vaccine used for Zika, shingles, and meningitis. And so it is a well-used adenovirus vector for vaccines that have been used in many vaccines in the past. So does that mean it's a live virus for, not, for? No, thank you. It is not a live virus. It's a adenovirus. It's, it's not like none of the vaccines are live viruses. And we wanted to explain those adenoviruses a bit further for you. You've likely been infected with one in your lifetime. According to the CDC, adenoviruses are very common and cause a range of illnesses. Those include ones you're probably familiar with, like bronchitis, pneumonia, and conjunctivitis. They can cause cold-like symptoms like a fever and sore throat. People with weakened immune systems or existing respiratory or cardiac diseases are more likely to get very sick from an adenovirus infection. So we tackle another question tomorrow night. If you have one, you can email newsdesk at wcpo.com or message me on Facebook. We will work to get it answered.